Hello world, welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the binary exploitation challenge wine or 300 points. Let's get into it. Challenge best paired with wine. I love windows. Check out my exe running on a Linux box. You can view source here and connect with it using that. Okay. So this is going to be a, a PE32 file, I believe. And we'll be able to check that here in a second. And I already have the source code downloaded for us as per the usual. So I've got the source code file open here. And as you can see, it's just a pretty standard, well, it looks like a buffer overflow again. Wow, there's a lot of them on this CTF. So I guess the only difference here is we have to figure out how to overflow it when it's a Windows executable, which does make it slightly more annoying, actually extremely more annoying. Now I could use something like immunity debugger to do it, but I kind of forgot how to use that because I haven't used it in a while. So <laughs> I got it working. It's kind of janky, but we're going to use the wine DBG and pass in the, or the wine debugger and pass it in the GDB argument so that we can get a GDB fronting going for it. So, uh, or overlay rather. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Uh, I already have the dummy flag here, right? Because if we look back at the source code, we'll see that there's a flag.txt, of course. Now, I will tell you up front that I could not really get the flag to print out for some reason, even when I did this. And I think it's just because of wine DVD being so finicky with the input. But anyways, let's go ahead and get our Python set up since we know we want to build our exploit from it. Pwn import star. All right, there we go. And then we'll do wine dbg gdb. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we've got it open and you'll notice it, it had a sig trap break here and all you got to do at that point is just hit continue and something I forgot to do of course was create a pattern for us to analyze with so why don't we go ahead and do that we'll do gdb and we'll just do gdb actually pattern create we'll do 200 since the buffer was 128, I think. We'll grab that, we'll paste that in. Okay, press enter. Come over here, we did in fact get an overflow. So let's do pattern offset AMA. And we have an offset at 140. Awesome, so let's go back over here. Let's rerun Python. We'll do A times 140, okay? And then we're gonna need to find the address of the win function, which shouldn't be too hard. We can just do disassemble win. And there we go. So there, okay. From own import star. 32 boom okay so now we've got our overflow offset and we've got our of course our win address so we'll quit gdb and i'll go ahead and try running it on gdb again but like i said it, it's kind of finicky it doesn't really work at least i couldn't get it to work properly to where it would print out my flag but i can at least still show you what it kind of looks like so we'll run wine dbg again and then, of course, we'll do our C. Oops. Okay. And then we'll grab this. Paste. And then we'll grab this. And this is the part where I think it gets messed up is the... Oops. Oh, no. Let me redo that. Sorry about that. Anyways, what I was saying was, I believe the address is what's getting screwed up when it's being entered. And I need to actually hit end, okay. And then copy. All right, so now we'll press enter this time. And 
as you can see, yeah, our flag wasn't printed out. In fact, it hit a segmentation fault. Repeated 440 times. It looks like it, it read it in, but with multiple backslashes. So it wasn't an exact value, of course. It is what it is. But this will work on the server. So let's go ahead and do that. Carry this over here. What's this over here? And let's do echo. And it looks like I've already have it in there from last time. We'll just change the port value. And now it does take a second. Also, I found that if you run the server and then you input the exploit or the payload, it won't give you the flag. You have to do it like this, I think. Or maybe there's another way to do it, like with Pwn Tools or something, obviously. But if you scroll up, it does indeed spit out your flag right here. And that wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.